we must not backtrack from our vigilant fight against this pandemic. President Uhuru Kenyatta's seventh annual national address came amid major global health disruptions and in which the head of state in a congratulatory atmosphere noted the efforts made by various groups in the achievements made in fighting the coronavirus. We also recognize and honor all other first responders, frontline staff, and essential workers who have selflessly gone above and beyond the call of duty and ensure that the Kenya flame continued to burn bright. President Kenyatta further noted the government's success in implementing the pilot program for universal health care as one of the major pillars in his Big Four agenda. Which pillar seeks to eradicate the poverty of dignity and transition our nation into an era where no Kenyan should be forced to sell their land in order to settle their medical bills or be forced to make a choice between buying much-needed medicine and using money to feed their children. This he said as he noted mental health care as a fast-rising concern and in response established, among other measures, an office under the Ministry of Health to exclusively handle mental health. I have issued an executive order establishing an ultra-modern national mental health hospital and also elevated Madare National Teaching Referral Hospital as a semi-autonomous specialized hospital. And I shall be looking to this house to support in the funding of this facility. In his acknowledgement of the milestones achieved in the health sector amid the COVID-19 pandemic, President Kenyatta outlined that until today morning, a total of 66,723 Kenyans had contracted the virus, whereas a total of 1,203 have so far succumbed. That we must not succumb to COVID fatigue. And on our part, as leaders, our stamina for discipline must not diminish. In line with the expectations by Kenyans, President Kenyatta touched on the declaration made by the National Health Insurance Fund to not cater for COVID-19 expenses of their clients. Similarly, my administration is instituting far-reaching reforms of NHIF as it perfects the medical insurance scheme. However, in a virtual meeting where the NHIF board appeared before the Senate Committee on Health, Chief Executive Officer Peter Camuño stood his ground stating that the mandate to manage funds in the event of a pandemic or epidemic fully lies on the national government. Finally, President Kenyatta, however, called on Kenyans to remain vigilant as he summarized on his address to the nation. Ben Kirirake 24, Evening Edition.